creativity did not take the summer off. The art world is alive and well in Key West. This morning I'm going to talk with visual artist Deborah Goldman. She currently has two exhibits on display, one in Miami entitled Forget Me Not, the other right here in Key West at the studios of Key West entitled Exposed. Deborah, thank you for being back with me this morning. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Well, it's always fun talking with you, Deborah. And let's get right into your exhibit in Miami right now entitled Forget Me Not. Forget Me Not was a great opportunity for me and for the other two artists involved. And it, it was a direct result of our collaboration with the studios of Key West. Uh, Nellie Appleby was an artist in residence. And Regina Gestrow was also an artist in residence. And for two years, I had a studio there. And when Regina came from Miami, I took the opportunity to talk with her. And we were chatting. And I said to her, it would be great for the three of us, because we're all inspired by nature, by plants, things that grow. Exhibit is at the Charles Deering Estate in Miami. And it's a perfect spot for the three of us, because Charles Deering loved nature, loved plants, created this many-acre garden, if you will, with wonderful specimens right on the ocean, birds galore. It's just a perfect natural uh, preserve. And since the three of us are inspired by nature, it just makes perfect sense. So. Our work is in the cottage. It's been up for several weeks, and unfortunately, is coming down October 4. But you still have a chance. You can right. get to go see it. So, Absolutely. so that's what's happening there. And all of our work, um, Nellie did pictures of, of uh, palm fronds, swimming plants, and I have a piece called "The Eye of the Potato Garden." and another piece called Zucchini Counting. Mm -hmm. And then the, there's a room that's called Daffodils for Deering. So, sounds beautiful. And, and Regina has very large works on paper that are hand-stitched with beads that are illustrations of plant forms. OK, and now that's taking place in Miami. Again, our viewers have until October 4th to check it out. Deborah, also, though, taking place right now at the studios of Key West right. is your other exhibit entitled Exposed. It's actually, it's exposed, and it's intended to expose to the community the artists who have studios there. And they were asked to invite artists who they know, who they thought would be complementary to the exhibit. And I was very thrilled that Maggie Ruley invited me to be included. Um, so her work's there, and my work is there. My relationship with Maggie was enriched by the fact that as a Studios of Key West artist, she was invited to uh, teach at Bahama Village this mm -hmm. winter, and I volunteered to help her to do that. She also was teaching this summer at the Art and Historical, another children's class. And I also volunteered. So we had a wonderful working relationship. And we were able to engage all of these children under 12, as my guess, like from 5 to 12 years old, mm -hmm. in exploring visual media in a way that they might not have had an opportunity. So wow. that, that was great. And mm -hmm. so she asked me and 17 of the well, 16 other artists at the studios all invited people. So it's quite a diverse show. Mm -hmm. um, the theme of it is about exposing the artists. So their work isn't necessarily related uh, visually, but the idea is, is that these are the artists who have studios at Studios Key West and their friends. Mm -hmm. A little help from their friends. <laughs> I like the theme and everything behind it. Now, Deborah, I want to go back to the programs, the one you mentioned you helped in Bahama Village program. What is your advice as an experienced visual artist to emerging visual artists? Mm. Well, the most important thing, I think, you need to have some kind of a ritual that you, a personally developed ritual, that will allow you to get to work. Because that's what you have to do. You have to work. You have to be in your studio. And even if you're there 
sort of wondering, what am I going to do next? If you have music that you play, or coffee that you want to drink, or ways to arrange the space, you need to be there. You have to be in the studio so that you can, when you are able to move forward, you're there and ready mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, emerging artists, it really, in some ways, it's not that different from artists who've been making work for a long time. Mm -hmm. You have to try to find who you are, what's important to you, and a way to express that so you can share it, and then just keep doing it mm -hmm. and going deeper inside who you are. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, by doing that, not that it's going to be a narcissistic approach, although it might sound that way, but you actually might touch on something universal mm -hmm. that will have appeal. My work, for example, I, I told you the difference between Nellie and myself. Nellie's 20 years younger than I am. And her work is really in the full blush and blossom of, of I call it, youth, even though she, she might not see herself as quite that young. Uh, and my work is really about recognizing um, that time is passing and it's ephemeral. And mm -hmm. Um, it, it is also about seizing the day. So. Mm -hmm. I, I love how you, you have that focus behind all of your work. And would you say that your work has really changed over the past couple of years, Deborah? Uh, I've always been interested in nature. Mm -hmm. But now, and probably since, since Wilma, and I recognize that nature is not always uh, beneficent, mm -hmm. uh, I started to get the sense that... Um, there's a lot of chance and a lot of risk. And um, recognizing as other people are aging and as I'm aging, trying to look for what's beautiful in the aging process. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes you have to dig really deep. <laughs> it's a search, but that, that it, I would say, is the real change, recognizing that. Mm -hmm. um, ephemeral quality of our lives mm -hmm. and trying to embrace it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Deborah, you have these two exhibits out of your way. Well, still on display for people to see, but you've knocked out your work. So what's next for you? Well, actually, I actually am in a show in Poughkeepsie, New York, which is a group show. And um, that was exciting for me because the juror of the show is the managing director at an organization called Dia Beacon, which is a museum in New York or outside of the city. And um, the work that they show and they're interested in, um, I'm very interested in the sorts of ideas that they express there. So that's still in process. It just mm -hmm. opened this weekend. And I'm already uh, ready to go <laughs> on, on some um, Vanda orchids that photographs of them that I hope to be hand coloring, which I've not done before. Oh, good. Well, I look forward to seeing them then on the show. You'll have to come back for sure and, oh, thank and you. display them. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank All right. You. And for more information on Deborah, just check out her website that you see on the bottom of the screen. Deborah, it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing your show at the studios of Key West. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Jenna. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's more to come this morning. Stay with me.